I've been a daily user of my brand new 5x8 tractor supply trailer. I don't know why I introduced that like I'm shooting up that Fetty Wap. I use this every single day. I have a furniture flipping business and this was a great addition to the company and is generating me a lot more money with this trailer. And for whatever reason, my grandfather texted me saying, hey Grayson, I'm gonna buy you a trailer. So this was a free trailer I got, so blessed for it. So I figured I would pass it on and give you guys an honest review of it. Now, I'm gonna flip the camera around, I'm gonna show the trailer, and I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know to make yourself a good decision this holiday season, if you should buy one of these or not. Because I've ran into a couple issues. All right, so I have the wood floor. You can pay about $200 extra if you would like the mesh bottom floor that'll match the tailgate. So this is the five by eight. It's a 400 pound trailer, so it's extremely light. And actually I accidentally sent it airborne a couple days ago because well, I like to drive fast when I'm doing my deals. So anyway, so it's about a 400 pound trailer, just empty weight. So you can easily unhook it, maneuver it wherever you want to maneuver it. And then just literally like I live in an apartment complex. So I unhook it, I walk it and back it into a spot and then go park my truck. It's that easy to move. And it has a towing capacity or weight capacity, whatever you want to call it, of 2000 pounds. So it is a light duty. Basically, I think it's the smallest they make in terms of utility trailers. Not completely sure. Of course they go bigger, but this was $9.99. It was $1,069 after taxes. So here's what it looks like, little wheels, it's got lights, it acts as a license plate mount. So let's talk about a couple things. First off, when I got the trailer, of course, you're gonna wanna make sure you have the correct setup here. So this costed me about 40, and then this was basically 30 to 40 because I didn't have the right connection, so I had to have an adapter. So that was almost an extra 100 bucks in accessories. So if this is a first time trailer buy, just like myself, or first time trailer gift, you're gonna to wanna to keep those in mind. Okay, so now let's move on to the important things. When it comes to actually tying things down, you don't have a lot of options. You're really restricted when it comes to what you can actually attach to. So if you'll notice, you could probably attach something to that, but this is not what it's for. I try not to walk on these, even though I do, cause who cares? Uh, but I certainly don't actually fasten anything to that thin piece of metal. What you're gonna wanna fasten to is you can do the frame, but it's kind of flat on the bottom, so you can't really hook anything. But these hooks, the welded pieces. There's one on the balance, not the balance stern, the front and back, both sides. So the only thing I ever secure a load to is gonna be those right there. So you actually have reflectors because why not? You have to, and you have side mounted turning signals, which is handy. Now over here, at first I saw these right here. I was like, oh, I could probably hook something to that. And maybe a bungee cord would, you know, a bungee cord would be good here, but it doesn't really bite into anything. It's just flat metal. And I thought, hey, maybe I could tie a load, let that motorcycle go by. Maybe I could tie a load, my ratchet straps to the top of the lights. But I figured as soon as I do that, the trailer would look Chinese. So I didn't do that. And really after giving it a solid look around, the only spots I would ever mount anything or attach anything, I keep saying mount, would be where it's welded right here. Kind of the same concept in the bed of your truck. There's many places in the bed of your truck that you could attach a ratchet to, uh, but it would rip the tits off of it. So you don't want to do that. Same concept with this trailer give you a look on this side. All right, so it is the five by eight. And in terms of utility trailers, this is almost as small as it gets. You've got trailers that are smaller that can be pulled with, you know, a side by side or an ATV or something like that. But realistically for a truck, this is really the smallest you're gonna to wanna to do. So let me talk about exactly what I use this for. So let me drop the gate. You pull back and you twist and it locks just like that on the other side, set it down, gate's real light. And then when it's time to put it back up, all I do is I just kick it into place just like that. So I own a couple businesses, but the one that requires this trailer is my flipping business, which is furniture and boats. So I pick up big sectionals, big U-shaped sectionals. So they're not like small couches, they're pretty big. And when I load them, 
I actually have to hang the main part, the, the largest part of the sectional. I've got to hang the feet over the end of this. So if you're coming from my channel, which is a furniture flipping channel, and you're watching this because you want to know if this was a good investment or would be, since I got it for free, a good investment for your furniture flipping business, it does overhang a little bit. Now, what you can do is you can remove the gate. The gate can be removed, no problem. But it's not exactly level. So I could hang some couches off the end, but I don't want to risk it because my setup's a little jank and it's basically pointing straight towards the ground. But if it was leveled out, you could remove the gate and you could actually hang them off the back end, which would be easier for sure and safer because if you don't have it fastened down correctly and you're hanging over the front of it, guess where that energy transfer is going to go? The bed of your truck. And in case you haven't noticed, I don't have any extra bed I can't afford to lose. So yeah, we, we don't need any unforeseen surprises. So just keep that in mind. It is pretty short, especially if you're gonna be doing furniture flipping if you're coming from this channel. But, but, I can fit a, as big a sectional as I possibly want, strap it down, all of the cushions in my bed cover, absolutely no problem. It makes picking up way easier because I would always load these giant sectionals by myself into my short bed, which all the customers were like, listen, you can't do that, but I do it anyway. I had a system, but this makes it so much easier. And since it's so much easier to load and unload solo, which I do this solo most of the time, my wife does the cleaning, but the actual loading and unloading I do solo, I can deliver furniture much easier and make extra income that way. That's already, you know, almost a thousand dollars easily that you can generate extra in this business just by having a trailer, making it easier on yourself to load and unload give you another little walk around here. So overall, for a thousand bucks, it's a great trailer. But if I'm gonna be honest with you, you can find these things used. You can find them from 600 to 800. You can find them used, no problem on Marketplace and just as good of condition. And let me tell you why I would recommend buying used versus new. For one, there I bought it. I keep saying I bought it. My grandfather gifted me and the trailer already has rust on it. So if you're looking to get a brand new trailer, you don't want any surface rust or anything. Listen, I've had it for two weeks. It had rust on it when I got there. It sits outside, it's a trailer, it's gonna get scratched, it's what happens. Don't worry about the cosmetics, it does its job. Listen, that's all you need to know. You don't, you're not buying a trailer to make it look pretty. So I would actually advise buying used because you can save yourself a few hundred dollars, up to four, five hundred dollars sometimes. And I've seen these things go for 300 that just need a tire replacement, which is no problem on these things. So overall, for the price, I'm gonna give this a solid seven out of 10. I love it. This has already made, this trailer alone will make me an extra thousand dollars a week in profit. And it already has, and I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking for a toy hauler for, you know, golf carts, uh, you know, some side-by-sides, four-wheelers, anything like that. Or if you're, well, I'm a guess a boat flipper, but I'm more of a boat keeper, I guess I should honestly say. Uh, but things like these, it works perfect for. This is 10 foot, that's eight foot. I need to lose the gate if I wanna use this. But that guy, that boat right there, fits flawlessly on it. Now, on the terms of boats, I don't think anybody's ever gonna do this. I think I'm the only one crazy enough. But if you did want to use it to put your little boats, because I also make boat videos, so if you're coming from that side of the channel, I wouldn't recommend dumping this in the ocean. I don't touch the ocean with this thing. I drop it right before the water line on the boat ramp, I load it up, and I try to keep as much salt water off this as humanly possible, because, well, we don't need a round two on this old gal. So, let me show you the connections here one more time. It comes with the hookup. It's gonna be the four prong system. This is what I had. So if you do have this type of older connection, I have a 2002. So that's the old school. You're gonna need this adapter. Comes with the safety chains that you always wanna crisscross. And I just lock it right there with a generic padlock. Someone might take it, fuck it. 
Anyway, guys, this is my review of my new trailer that I've been using for my business and pleasure. I absolutely love it. It is, you know, some people say small trailers are hard to back. I think this is big enough that I have zero issues. Even the day I got it, I had zero issues backing it. So in terms of actually, you know, usability, it is extremely user-friendly, great for beginners like me. It's light, so you can maneuver it in tight parking spaces like my situation. And overall, it is just a great trailer. I absolutely love it. Thanks for hanging out. I think you should get this if you're looking to scale your furniture flipping business, if you're looking for any sort of flipping business, or if you're just looking for a good trailer that won't break the bank. All right, guys. See you next time.